Hallmark Movies and Mysteries presents a 2021 Miracles of Christmas all-new original. Somewhere obvious, like behind the tree. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. I thought we said the kitchen was supposed to be off limits. It's gonna be hard to find anyone in here unless, unless I smell cookie. <laughs> I got ya. You're the queen. Let's go again. Oh, well, I didn't waste all these warm cookies. Mm. <laughs> I'm sad for other kids. You are? Why? They don't have a grandpa with Christmas all year store. <laughs> you know what I say. Why only celebrate one day? But you can celebrate every day. <laughs> Did you start with ornaments or decorations? Or the fudge? I started with candy canes. My favorite. Mm hmm So, when I have a question or a problem, I think on it while I eat one. Because they're so sweet? Because they last a long time, so I can think my question all the way through. And when I get down to the curly end, I have my answer. Oh, it's a few weeks early for Santa. That's a shooting star. You should make a wish. How do you know what to wish for? Mm. A wish is when you say out loud what's in your heart. So, Clara, what's in your heart? I wish to spend every Christmas forever with Grandpa. <laughs> Time to go, Clara. Five more minutes, please, Mom. It's late, honey. Just five more minutes. That'd be good. Just wanting a flight info. Already emailed it. And to remind you, if you land during Christmas hours, grab a ride share. <laughs> Can't wait to see you. Ah. <sighs> Any chance we could cancel Christmas this year? You don't mean that. Ah, uh, don't I? How are we gonna do Christmas without Grandpa Clara? I don't know, Mom. But I'll be home tomorrow to help. And I promise we are gonna have a great Christmas, okay? I love you, baby. I love you, too. <laughs> Who's ready to make Christmas ornaments to take home for the holidays? <laughs> need a hand? I just need to get to my... Oh, hey, Blake, what's up? Uh, I would like to take you out to dinner. 
Fridays are usually catch-up night. Gotta get my paperwork in. <laughs> I know, but you're gonna be gone for two weeks, and I'll miss you. So I made us a reservation at Robinoff's. I will see you tonight. I look forward to it. Decaf, no sugar for the gentleman. And a peppermint mocha with whipped cream, sprinkles, mm -hmm. and a candy cane. Mm. You're like a teenager. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <clears throat> so, you're gonna be in North Carolina for the whole break? Yeah, it'll be nice to spend some time with my mother. Why? You thinking about something? Actually, I've heard so much about this uh, candy cane confectionery. Mm. And I'd love to finally be able to meet your mom and maybe ask her in person. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. You know, um, I actually, I got a, I got a letter. Did you get a letter from the, uh, from the district? Uh, should I have? No. Don't think so. I, I... Just gonna see what, um, whoa. Clara, what is it? They're not renewing my contract. What? Is they're cutting the arts programs across the district, and, and because I don't have seniority, seeing that I'm out of a job by June? That's impossible. You were voted one of the teachers of the year this year. I guess that doesn't matter. I've been at West End since I was a student teacher. All those years. I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> Mom, I love that wreath. I know. I should have bought a couple for the shop. Now listen, about the house, don't judge. <laughs> I wanted to make it pretty for you, but the shop has been so busy. It's, it's fine. I had to bring paperwork home. Six months in, I hadn't realized how much Grandpa and I did together. Well, it's a two-person job, and I'm going to be your other person for the next two weeks. So let me just unpack my bags, and I'll go with you. Nope. Today, you are going to put your feet up. I came to help. You can help by taking my eggnog pie out of the oven when the timer goes off. Mom, really? Enjoy your first day off school. I'll put you to work tomorrow. Trust me. <laughs> if you want to go out, Grandpa's car is in the front. I haven't gotten around to selling it yet. His keys are downstairs in his room. Okay. Hey, you okay? Yeah, it's just, you know, first Christmas since you. <laughs> Keep baking pies. I'll take the pie out. Go. I promise I'm not going to burn your pie. I promise. <laughs> I love you. I love you more, honey. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Tis season to be jolly.
Morning, ma'am. Can I uh, help you? Yeah, I was... Logan. <laughs> Clara. Hi. Hi. I... You're in I... town. <laughs> yes, for, for Christmas. And, um, you know, helping my mom with... Of course. How is your mom? How are you? Okay. Jerry. Hmm. <laughs> what a great guy. Thank you. Um, so are you are you working here now? Volunteering for military might. Hmm. We help vets and their families get back on track post injury. I've been doing it for almost a year now. Yeah. Oh, a year. So to your back. Yeah, I left active duty as a lieutenant colonel. Yeah, I'm still in the reserves now, but I'm partnering with my dad in the construction firm. That's that's amazing. Congrats. Uh, you came here for reads. I, I did. I got um, some great ones over here. So okay. Let's get you set up. I can't believe you still get to drive the cool car. Yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, I don't know how long you're in town for, but um, would you, uh, do you want to grab a coffee or something? I thought maybe we could catch up. Or... I, I just came to see my mom. She hasn't sorted any paperwork on the store, or it's just, it's been so long, you know? We'll be with your mom, and uh, that's... Merry Christmas, Clara. Thank it was, you. um, it was great to see you. Good to see you, too. Somebody needed a few wreaths? You are my favorite child. I'm your only child. You're still my favorite. Mom, let me help. No, I just uh, wanted to make sure nobody slipped on the way in. Leave the breathed here, honey. I'll put them up. Okay. Can't believe the twins are ten already. Give them a hug for me. Kelly, Bella, Mama, it's Aunt Clara. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. I mean, you said it's happening, but it's happening. I know, I know. Four more weeks. I can't believe it. How's Carl? Good. He's home for Christmas, and we get him at Fort Bragg for two years. Amazing. Are you coming over? Hot chocolate at my house, how soon? Very, very soon. Okay. I ran the register, straightened up, brought back the empties, and I will drop the deposit in the night slot on the way home. Oh, the store looks great. Front part. <laughs> the wreaths were a nice addition. Thanks for that. Never guess who I bought it from. Logan. Logan, Logan? High school, Logan? Mm-hmm. How was that? Fine. Weird. He made it to a lieutenant colonel. Well, good for him. So he's he's on leave? Actually, he's back in the reserves, working with his dad. Oh, yeah. And how's Blake? Fine. Hey, come on, Mom. Take a break. Let me do that. Come in. Blake seems, uh, like a steady, good guy, dependable. 
not like <laughs> crazy Logan. You have to admit, all those adventures you and Logan went on. We were teenagers, and I thought you liked that spirit in him. You liked that spirit in him, so what could I say? I was a single mom dying every time he said, hop in the car, let me take you somewhere. <laughs> Clara? Something going on? How did you know that dad was the one? Well, the second we met, I just knew, but why are we... And then when he proposed? I said yes before he could finish the sentence. Hmm. You were so young, though. Even if someone had told me he wouldn't make it home, I would have said yes a million times over. When you know, you know. And what is going on? Nothing. Come on, let's go do the paperwork. Bring the fudge. The man had some kind of system. I should have made him formalize it. Ask questions or something. It was so sudden, Mom. But I knew this day would come. I depended on him for so much. He was my rock when your father died. Me too. Mm. He'll always be with us, like Dad. Mm. Maybe it's time to bring in some help. Just let me put up a sign tomorrow. Okay. You go home, let me oh. clear some paths. No, that's what I'm here for. I've missed this place and I'd like to soak it all in. It's gonna be okay. holiday right now. A wish is when you say out loud what's in your heart. Grandpa, if you're listening, We're not quite open. Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm so sorry, but we're not open yet. Oh, sorry, I saw the sign in the window. You still hiring? I, I, I just put that there. Yeah, I came by last summer to see if you needed anyone, but I guess summer's in the busy season. Uh, I, I talked to an old man, it's super nice. That's probably my grandpa. <laughs> Uh, he told me to come back on my winter break. Uh, is, is he here? He's, um, no longer with us. I'm sorry. Uh, what did you say your name was? Jay. <laughs> Do you have a resume, Jay? Uh, not on me, but I, I told your grandpa I'm a hard worker, and he said he would trade genius for hard work any day. <laughs> that sounds just like him. He, uh, told me to check back. Grandpa Jerry's opinion is good for me. Clara, welcome aboard. You won't regret it, Clara. Um, so how can I help? Well, my mom is on her way in to take care of some of the deliveries. Well, I can take those off her plate. Yeah, this, this way? Wait, but, um, I must warn you, it's chaos. And I came just at the right time. Thank you. 
Oh. Hi. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, you already did all of that. Yeah, I like to be efficient. Oh, um, before I forget, I found this on the floor under one of the boxes. Looks like a journal. Ah, sorry, didn't mean to pry, just thought you might like to have it. And I'll be back soon. Thank you, I didn't see it last night. This is Grandpa's journal? <laughs> I'll never forget the first time I laid eyes on Martha. Martha. I was on my own that Saturday when... I can't remember the last time I drank the entire cup of coffee. <laughs> Mm hmm I saved you the last piece of pie. Oh, uh, God, now. Thanks for opening. Mm-hmm. Hey, do we know a woman named Martha? Oh, please tell me she's not a customer. I forgot. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Then no. And I'm going to get straight to the deliveries. Actually, I handled that. I hired someone part-time, a student that Grandpa met last summer. Already? Grandpa never mentioned a student. Well, he seems super on the ball. He's a little quirky, but polite, and he's already out there making deliveries. Well, in that case, I'll use the time to start in the pantry. In that case, why don't you take the morning off and let me be in charge for a bit? I can't take the morning off. Seriously, Mom, when's the last time you took some time for yourself? Well, I, I would like to check out the, mm -hmm. the new Christmas market. Come on, <laughs> you can do it. Weeks later, Martha took me to her favorite place in town. <laughs> I'll tell you when. <laughs> now! Year round Christmas! Merry Christmas, Jerry. Time's infinite. Grace, you! <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Do you have any doctor ornaments? I have a six year old daughter who's determined to be a surgeon. I love that. Is eating barbecue a Christmas tradition? <laughs> it's a North Carolina tradition. Well, OK, but who can explain dill pickles, pumpkin pie, and the band Kiss as ornaments? You've never seen the Kiss White Christmas video? I've never met anyone who knew there was a White Christmas video by <laughs> Kiss. Well, hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Edward. Uh, Bonnie. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> also a Southern tradition. So I'm learning. Not from around here, huh? I travel a lot for work. Please tell me it's to taste food from every part of the world. I sell software. <laughs> Too bad. So, you're here for work? My mom. Uh, she had a stroke. I was taking care of her until she passed three months ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. I lost my father-in-law in June. You were close? Very. Sounds like you were, too. She was the craziest woman I ever met. And I mean that as a compliment. I wouldn't have been anywhere else. She was the world's best mom. But you've been here three months? Getting things in order. I've also enjoyed getting to know the town my mother fell in love with. It's been hard to leave. I promised the folks at the community association booth that I'd stop by. My mom was a supporter. Wait, was your mom Diana? Yes, 
I volunteered there a lot until things got rough this year. We, we, we did a tree planting project. Right. And she was crazy in, in the best way. There are charity auctions coming up. And there's a meeting tomorrow if you wanted to get back involved. We could use some more people in the decorating committee. I think I remember writing that down on my calendar uh, six months ago. <laughs> Wonder where that calendar is. Well, if you find it, I hope to see you. Maybe this one to match your boots. We said congrats. Thank you. Um, doing a little Christmas shopping? Mm -hmm. I need a few pounds of peppermint bark, two dozen gingerbread men, all the snowman cake pops you got, and of course, candy cane cookies. They're all for you, aren't they? Well, unless you're interested in sharing some. Well, you are in luck. New candy cane cookies are ready. You want a warm one? Does anyone say no to that? Mm -mm. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Needs new batteries, I think. Those are the cookies? How many do you want? All of them. <laughs> oh, they are actually for military might. We're putting together Christmas baskets for the families, oh. and I thought I'd bring the treats. That's really nice. Well, it can be tough around the holidays. Uh, your gingerbread house has a bit of structural damage there. Yeah. I am a contractor. I'm good. You don't want that roof caving in on innocent gingerbread people, do you? I'm fully bonded and insured. Oh, come on. You remember that look. The one that said that you were his one and only granddaughter, and I was... Taking me out on my first date? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm He did give us the fair lane, though. No, he gave you the fair lane. He gave me the look. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> I admit, I was scared. And with that military background. Mm. Clara, the way I enlisted, I I know it's been a long time, but I, I always wanted the chance to Deliveries complete. Sorry. Hi. I have anything else for today? All set. <laughs> Maybe we can go through the inventory in the pantry tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. Oh, um, I don't know if you saw, but there's a big Christmas tree lighting happening at the market tonight. Seems pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the last time I went to that tree lighting. Well, don't let your big chance go by. See you later. Do I know that guy? New holiday hire. Maybe you've seen him around town? You know, that tree lighting is usually pretty neat. <laughs> 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 Would you want to go there with me tonight? Just a tree lighting. I haven't seen it in years. Look, I know you never liked Logan. No, I loved him. What I didn't like was the way he left, and neither did you. He didn't leave, Mom. He joined the Army. <sighs> and didn't tell you until after he enlisted. You were devastated. He chose that life. And good for him. You have a different life now with a great guy in Chicago. Everything's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> How good are the second graders? Oh, they're incredible. They just haven't gotten to the place where they filter or second guess, so their creativity is just off the charts and their willingness to try and fail is just so inspiring. You haven't changed a bit. I always knew you were going to be this kind of art teacher, inspiring the next gen of Picassos and O'Keeffe's. Did I say something wrong? 
Oh, no, 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 no. It's just, um... <sighs> I'm being laid off. It's terrible. Yeah. But you're so talented. You'll find another position right away. <sighs> There's private schools and community centers and colleges. And, <sighs> I mean, even the Army has an art program. It does? Yeah, since World War I. <laughs> Maybe I looked it up when I got there. Maybe I thought to... <laughs> Any place would be lucky to have you. You sound like my grandpa. He had a knack for saying the right thing at the right time. <laughs> the day he died, we were supposed to connect, have one of our epic chats. <laughs> but when I called his phone, my mom answered. He just collapsed. And I keep wondering if I would have called just five minutes earlier, if I would have been able to hear his voice one last time. I wish I knew what he would say now. He would have asked you his favorite question. Clara, what's in your heart? I know. He did it for me, too. Even after you and I split, he was still in my life. Clara, I never meant to hurt you, but I did, and I'm sorry. Oh, I wanted to say that for such a long time. And I knew when I saw you again, I wouldn't let that chance go by. Welcome, welcome everyone. It's time we illuminate this year's magnificent tree. Count it off with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Merry Christmas! Aww. Screwdriver. Wow. Wow. Oh. So I just discovered Grandpa used to keep a diary. There's a history that I never even knew about. He fell in love with a girl named Martha when he was younger. But your grandma's name was Nell. I know. Wow. So was that when he was in the Army? No, I haven't even gotten to the Army part yet. Well, Jerry always said things happen for a reason, so maybe this journal turned up now because... Because... I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I have it in the truck. You drive, I'll read. Maybe we can find some clues. Well, that sounds nice. After you. So I finally worked up the nerve to invite Martha to the holiday formal. We'd been seeing each other nearly every day for a month, but this would be our first dance, and I was so nervous. But she always put me at ease, and always, always found the joy. We talked and laughed all night. It felt like we'd been together forever. We'd be together forever. I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. Oh, we're here. I was so into the story. Yeah. Oh. So whoa, 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 no, no, no. I need to know what happens next. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Fred. I mean, I mean, did they go on another date? Does he confess his love for her? I need to know what happens. How could I spoil everything by telling her when I turned 18, I'd be enlisting in the army?
<laughs> what did Logan say when you read him the part where your grandpa enlisted and couldn't tell her? Logan brought up his enlisting before we even got to the journal. Wow. He apologized. Well, that's big. <laughs> what have you told Blake? About Logan? Mm, no. About the journal. Why? Is there something to tell him about Logan? No. <laughs> no. Um, cookies. I hope Bella's class loves them. You did such an amazing job on The Office that I thought I would let you loose on this. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Clearly, my grandpa had a it's a mess, but I can put my hands on everything system. Problem is. Oh, without him, no one can put their hands on anything. Yeah. I'm sort of a whiz at this kind of stuff, so it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> yeah, and if you're looking to get rid of some extra inventory, you could set up a booth at the Christmas Bazaar this weekend. I forgot about the Christmas Bazaar. Thank you. You are a godsend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. To the official decorating committee. I love the association, and I'm so glad I could make the meeting, but they're hot cocoa. It's a Whoa. Christmas abomination. Wait till you try this. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. <clears throat> oh, it's good. You wouldn't have time for dinner sometime soon, would you? Oh, um, I'm so busy at the store. I, I run the Christmas store on Maple, so the season. Perhaps after Christmas, then? Or perhaps you're seeing someone? No, no, I'm, I'm not. No, I haven't done that for a while. I mean, can you tell? <laughs> oh, Think about it. In the meantime, Tell me more about the show. Well, it's complete chaos, but it's also the greatest place on Earth. It's been so important to me. Hi. Hey, finally. How's it going? Sorry, it's just been really busy. Yeah, but the store's crammed. Yeah. Um, so are you just packing? Yeah, got my routes, map, timing. Even got my Christmas sports movies chosen. <laughs> That's where you say there are no Christmas sports movies, and I explain that Ivan Drago fought Rocky on Christmas Day. You know what the army's good for? Multitasking. Uh, Let me help you out there, GI so. Jane. Hey, Blake, I'm so sorry. Do you mind if I um, call you later? We're, uh, I'm selling some stuff at a Christmas bazaar, and I kind of need both hands to get organized. Uh, can I call you later? Uh, of course. Yeah, yeah, I'll catch you then. OK. Hey. Who's Blake? He is, um, my boyfriend in, uh, Chicago. Oh. Is it serious? Is that Clara? Hi! Look at you! Oh, and Logan's been talking about you non-stop. Not non-stop, Mom. It wasn't. I'm... Hush. He said you look wonderful, and you do. And your poor dear grandfather, I was so sorry to hear about him. I bet your mom is up to her ears. She is. Well, tell Bonnie I said hi. We'll be gone seeing my baby's baby over Christmas. Denise had another. But let's reconnect after. Promise? Promise. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Listen, can I take you someplace tonight? Logan. It's not what you think. It, I want to take you someplace unconventional. I'm seeing someone. It's not that. It's one old friend to another saying, hop in the car, let me take you somewhere. Right? All right. Perks of being the contractor working on our old school. We weren't expecting this, were you? <sighs> Time flies. Clocks don't stop. Come on.
They kept the ceiling art you fought for. We fought for. First time I ever took a stand. You were so adamant that kids have a place to express themselves. I know you're worried about separating from your school, but you've been inspiring students since we were this age. To find a place to do it again. This is where you wanted to bring me. Your unconventional outing. I thought about what Jerry would do. Huh? How he'd remind you that the art teacher that you are isn't tied to a place or a school. It's inside you. It's who you are. Been. There we go. Wow. <laughs> You're good with lights. <laughs> it shows you grew up in a Christmas oh. store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I didn't grow up in a confectionery. No? No. My uh, husband, Danny, was killed serving overseas, and Jerry just took Clara and I in, and he said, we're family, we'll get through this together. And I've been at the confectionery ever since. Hmm. You're different than I thought. You said you sell software. I looked you up, you sell software companies. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to be treated differently. People here have connected with me because they knew my mother or because they liked the Vietnamese food I made. Not because they were looking for some big sale or an introduction to someone. You make Vietnamese food? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot stop thinking about those young artists and what they created. Yeah. You know, it's hard to believe that they're the same age your granddad was in his journal. Mm. I mean, what happened with him and Martha when he shipped out? Do you know? Mm -mm. No, I... I haven't gotten that far. Want to find out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Read me more. That day, we said goodbye at the station. It was the first time I ever saw tears in Martha's eyes. It was the service that kept them apart. Mom, you remember Logan? Sure. And, and this is Edward. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I didn't you, you didn't know tell me you were, were going, going on, a, on date. a date. It wasn't I, a date. It wasn't a date. It's and fine if it was me, a date. Tell me what it was then. And it was two old friends hanging out. You put on lipstick. We were doing decorations for the association. I always wear lipstick and don't change the subject. He seems nice. Where'd you meet? at the Christmas market you forced me to go to. I'm happy for you. I mean, when's the last time you went out? I don't know. I was nervous the whole time, and he wants to see me again, and dating has never really worked out, so that's over. And uh, tell me about you. Me. You've seen Logan practically every day since you've been here. Nothing's going on. Nothing or... Nothing. Nothing is going on with Blake. I mean, Logan. Nothing is going on with Logan. I'm gonna go call Blake. Hey, sorry I missed your call earlier. Oh, it's it's fine. It's been nonstop. So uh, tell me how it's going. How was a big game? Well, Mom threw an interception that ended the game, so we had to trade it to the other side for next year. <laughs> So listen, I'm glad you called. I have some good news. I found out the West End's looking for a second grade teacher for English and history. Oh, well that's... I think you should apply for it. Me? 
an English and history teacher. Yeah, yeah, I emailed you the application link. But I teach art. <laughs> teaching is teaching. You know, it's just another job, right? Sure. Um, Besides, that way we could keep working together. Listen, Blake, I... Oh, hey, they're putting dinner down. I, I should... Oh, oh, uh, yeah, I can, I can call you later. Bye. Love you. Bye. <sighs> Teach English and history. Oh, but you're an art teacher. Exactly. It's not just a job. It's who you are and always have been. That's exactly what Logan said. <laughs> so you're seeing more of each other. Cal. Why did you send me an SOS? Blake is gonna propose. Clara? <laughs> oh no. Look, he's he's a great guy. He really is. Oh, there are so many buts in that sentence. He's a great guy, but 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 I don't know. <sighs> Everything was fine. And the second I saw that ring box, I went ice cold. I thought it would feel different. And then ever since it happened, I just, all I have are questions. <sighs> Look, it's the same night that I lost my job and then it's our first Christmas without grandpa. So maybe, well, what would grandpa Jerry say? He would say, Clara, ask yourself one question. What is in your heart? If only you were here. I heard the mail was in, and there was a big package for me. I was sure it would be letters from Martha, but when I got there, all my cards came back unopened. I didn't understand. We fell so hard. Was I wrong about everything? What happened, Grandpa? What happened to your first big love? I also made maple bacon and cinnamon coffee. What? No pies? Check the oven. <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night. Um, so, we good? Always. So, um, what, what happened here? I tried to clean up. <laughs> Those are organized piles of piles. Don't make fun. All I'm saying is if you, you keep living in chaos, then you're not gonna have room for anything else. What do I need room for? Saying yes to a second date with Edward. Or whatever comes next in life. Uh, I gotta open the store. This time you go out. Go, go shopping, take the morning off. Uh, I heard you. Okay, I'll think about what you said. Thank you. Oh, oh Jay! Wow, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Uh, actually, I was just doing some Christmas shopping before I head in. I, I was gonna stop at the hardware store and grab some extra batteries for the candy cane train and I, I lost track of time. I can pick them up. Are you sure? Yeah. No, I can come back later. It... They're right there. Plus, my mom's in the shop, and she's she's really excited to meet you. OK, great. Well, I will see you later then. Bye. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, I thought I would just grab some batteries, see if I can get that Candy Cane Express train going. What are you picking up? Batteries. To see if I can get that Candy Cane Express train going. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if the batteries don't work, I could always take a shot at fixing it. Are you heading in now? Actually, my mom's covering for the morning. I was going to sneak out and do a little extra shopping. Why? Ah, nothing. They just gave me a 
really nice tree from the lot, and it's, it's very bare right now. Actually, I don't know if you've heard this, but um, art activities are kind of my jam. Christmas art activities? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. Impressive. Well, you were expecting beanbag chairs, dirty clothes everywhere, and a video <laughs> game console, huh? In my defense, that is what your old basement used to look like. I've been making military beds for years. Oh. Oh, how's Denise? Your mom said she was um, having another baby, her, her second? Third. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so does that mean you're, you're alone for Christmas? Yeah. I mean, it's a busy season for military might, and I want to help. It's really thoughtful. Um, should we just, we, we should start. That's, that's what these are for. <sighs> now, don't you forget to share some of that with your parents. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I got that oh. Mrs. Huff. Oh. Perfect choice Thank for you. this year's collection. Thank you. Are those fresh candy cane cookies I smell? <gasps> yes, I forgot to take them out. What in the world? Jay. <sighs> oh, Jay. Oh, hello. I had some holiday shopping to do, so. How can I help? I don't remember these from your house growing up. Are they new? My mom made them. Viv did? Mm-hmm. Wow, she really is good. She's a talent. <laughs> uh, both my parents have been really supportive about me serving. Hey, I need to talk to you about something. Way back in senior year. Oh, we don't have No, no, I... Need to. Huh? I didn't break it off with you because of how you enlisted. I did it because of what my mom and I went through losing my dad. And I should have said something, but I, I didn't know how. I'm really sorry. You should have known. I think I did know. Deep down, I didn't want you to have to go through the same kind of loss again. And that's why I guess I just kind of accepted it. Well, I hope it didn't keep you from moving on and... Oh, oh, I've dated. <laughs> Nobody that's really stuck, but uh, maybe I just haven't found the right person who can put up with me. <laughs> I keep thinking about your granddad's journal. You have? I, I can't help but wondering whether it was the army that kept him and Martha apart, but if he had a second chance, would he still sign up? Yeah. Wow. I was thinking maybe uh, later I'd come by the shop around closing, see if I can get the Candy Cane Express going in case it needs more mechanics than batteries. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be good. cleared the whole display case today twice. So good. Now I have to start unboxing stock for tomorrow. It never stops. Why didn't you ask Jay? He said he was stopping by this morning. He left for deliveries before I could. Hmm. Uh, Edward stopped by the shop today. He had some Christmas shopping he wanted to do. And I may have said yes to go to the charity auction with him tonight. Mom. I panicked. See what happens when you encourage me? You're adorable. You know, um, why don't you go home? Get ready, put on some lipstick. I'll take care of closing up. Really? Mm -hmm. Because I could just... Hey. Hi. 
How's the new niece? Cutest thing you ever saw. Show you a picture? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Give Denise and your parents my love. I will. Merry Christmas, Logan. Merry Christmas to you, too. A few months out on mission, impatient to get back to base. Oh, what's that? It's a Christmas card. Must be one of the ones he never sent. Do you think that he sent her Christmas cards every time like she asked? I would. If it was me. You would. <laughs> Here, you read. Even though my cards came back unopened, I can't stop hoping one might get through that will have our great love. I'll come find you the minute I finish my service. Till then, Merry Christmas, times infinity. Love, Jerry. I wonder if that was the last one I wrote, and then after this, he just gave up? I feel so sad. Or, even if Jerry and Martha never saw each other again, Maybe she opened up his heart. If that's what he got for falling in love for the first time, uh, maybe it's not a sad story. Maybe that's what first love does. It sets the tone for the rest of your life. find someone to share it with. <laughs> we made a pretty good team on decoration. Mm -hmm. Though I have to admit, I may have hidden the sheet after we signed up. Oh, wait. It was because of you that we did all that by ourselves? I wanted a way to spend one-on-one -on -one time getting to know you better. I thought I was ready, but I'm not yet. I just have so much to deal with. I'm sorry. Bonnie. <laughs> Thanks for a really great evening. Really. Jay? I broke the Santa timer in the store, um, and I couldn't find any extras in the back. So I thought maybe you'd know where uh, replacements are. <laughs> I got it. No problem. I'll see you later. <sighs> okay, thank you. <laughs> And it really worked, too. Right behind me, there's a lady who's selling these amazing walnuts. Go grab a bag and see. Crush, crush, crush. This is Logan. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, I will. 
Thank you, sir. Hey, can you call me when you have a sec? There's something I want to tell you about. Thanks. My dearest Martha, I couldn't resist writing one last time. If there's one thing I've learned from these years, the days run by. The love won't stop, the pages keep floating by. And one day you wake up and wish we just had five more minutes. So I think we should meet now. Did you get my message? Grandpa Jerry wrote to Martha. Recently, like this year. Tell me everything. Uh, can you? He still wanted to connect. You think they met up? The card wasn't sent. It wasn't even addressed. I don't think he knew where she lived. But some part of him still wanted to know if there was something there. Should we give him that chance? Or we'll try and find her? Deliver the card? If you were Martha, would you want to know how your granddad really felt after all this time? Everyone deserves to know if they were loved the way my grandpa loved Martha. Let's go find Martha Tompkins. This is our place. Okay, my search gave me nine Martha Tompkins in a 10-mile radius of Fayetteville. Lucky number one. Hi, are you Martha Tompkins? Yes. My name is Claire Brigham, and my grandfather was Jerry Brigham. I, I was wondering if you were the Martha Tompkins who knew him in the 50s. I don't remember any Jerry Brigham. Well, thanks, and Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. One down, eight to go. Jerry Brigham. No, I don't know anyone by that name. Is he lost? No, he passed away earlier this year. We're looking for someone he knew. A different Martha Tompkins, I guess. There is another Martha Tompkins. We know, ma'am. The, the ninth <laughs> we've tried in town. I'm thinking of a woman who lives a few towns over. We never met, but I used to get some of her mail. We have the same middle name. I kept her new address. One second. It's got to be her, right? She must be in town. I mean, she would have gone into all the trouble of putting up these Christmas decorations if she was going to be away for the holidays, right? No, yeah, absolutely. She's going to be around. What are you going to say to her? <sighs> but it's her. I guess I would um, want to find out why they didn't end up together. Just never quite get over it. That first Christmas after I deployed, I wrote maybe 50 versions of a card to you. Regret and apologies and my feelings. Couldn't send it. No, I couldn't have read it. Not then. I would have protected myself. That's okay. No, no. I just realized that that's what I have been doing. 
making safe choices, gravitating towards safe people, not believing that I could teach somewhere else or be the person that I used to be, all, all the things that you, that you've opened my eyes to. Come on. Yeah, to the person that you and my grandpa always saw. Spend Christmas with me and my mom. Please, your family is out of town. You shouldn't be alone. And this week has been... Yeah, I, Clara, I've been called back to active duty. Oh. Yeah. When? Right after the new year. But everything you said... No, 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 it's, it, it's okay, it, uh, um, seriously, it, it, just, um, can you take me home, please? Clara. Yeah, well, wait, I... Do you still want to spend Christmas? The time, um, our timing, it never... Just please be safe. Claire. Merry Christmas. Mom? You here? Yeah, yeah, in the living room with, um... Surprise. Um, uh, what, what, are, what are you doing here? I have to uh, deal with something upstairs. You said you wanted to talk, so... Just, um, please sit down. I saw the ring box. Right. So. I really <sighs> care about you. I think that's what I heard on the phone when you sounded so distant. I can see a life with you. Clara, if you're not jumping for joy for me to ask you, it's not really what I'm looking for either. Look, I, I should have said something at the restaurant and I, but honestly, I didn't know how I felt and then I, I didn't want to say anything until I knew and... And now you, and now you do? Look, if everything happens for a reason, then maybe seeing the ring was a sign. I, I, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I never wanted to hurt you. I. But, but just, why don't you stay the night? We have a guest room. No, 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 no. It's I, okay. It's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head to the airport. Um, say goodbye to your mom for me. It's really nice to meet her finally. <clears throat> and um, Merry Christmas, Clara. Merry Christmas. Oh. It's all right. with someone is how you figure out how to move forward. I um, found Grandpa's journal. He left it on the kitchen table. I read it to the very end. Was there any more about Martha? Mm, much later, when Grandpa got back from Korea, 
It was almost two years. I was heading home for Christmas. And I was going to find my love. I went to Martha's family home, but it had been sold. So I asked around until I found her new address. It was way outside town. I walked miles until I finally found it. Martha moved on without me. I may never know if she got my letters, or worse, if she did, and it didn't matter. Martha got married. And had a family. But so did Grandpa. With Grandma Nell, and she was wonderful. The very best. I'm so glad Grandpa had a second chance at love. And so will you. So will you. I guess we just have to keep on wishing. I wish Grandpa knew everything he gave us. Why did we make so much food? We always make this much food. One, it's Christmas Eve, and two, leftover, leftover san san sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Kelly said she might stop by. You better be bringing something good because... I'm sorry to intrude. Are you Clara? I, I think you left this in my mail. I'm... You're Martha. <laughs> the Martha. So you never received the letters. My parents returned them without my knowing. My mother didn't tell me about his letters until right before she passed. By then, I had married a wonderful man, had three children, seven beautiful grandchildren, and a happy life. Your grandfather got married, too. I know. Oh, how did you know? We spoke. You and Jerry. When? Last year. He looked me up. But, it, but his letter? He didn't want another letter to get lost or returned. So he tracked me down, and we spoke on the phone several times. We were going to meet face to face in June. I know. I saw it in the paper. I made my peace with it. Though I can't help but wonder what it would have been like to see each other again, even for five more minutes. He loved you both so much. He told me on the phone how happy you made him, what a life he had. I have two, and I credit Jerry. But if he broke your heart? Once someone opens your heart, you believe you're worthy of love. Without Jerry, I would never have the rest of my life. And he would never have found Nell. Thank you for inviting me in. I'll let you get back to your holiday. Oh, I almost forgot. In the envelope are a few photos I have from then of Jerry and me. Oh. I thought you might enjoy them. Oh, yes. It was a pleasure to meet you. And you, you too. Martha. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the motion detector went off at the shop. There's nothing on the camera, but I should go check it no, out. I got it. I'll be yeah. back before the turkey is rested and carved. OK. Jay? <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh, I noticed some of these bulbs were out the other day, and I uh, kept forgetting to replace them. <laughs> I, I figured I'd take care of them. Well, the motion sensors went off at the store, so oh, I came to oh, check it no. out. I, I didn't mean to set the sensors off. I'm sorry. Did I take you away from something? It's been a really big night. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have family to celebrate with? Oh, yes. I'm meeting them later. Hey. 
You want to come in for a candy cane? I would love to. Thank you. Candy canes were always my grandpa's favorite. Mm. Because they're so sweet? Mm. Because they last a long time. And you can think your questions all the way through. And by the time you get to the curly end, you had your answer. And what's your question now? Do you think everyone gets a big first love? I did. Did it work out? No. It taught me that I have that kind of love to give. And taking a big risk with someone you love is better than risking life without them. An old friend of my grandpa's came to the house tonight. She said the same thing. She did? Mm. What did she say? She said that he opened her heart, which opened her up to the rest of her life. So much love flow between them in a, such a short amount of... Are you okay? I'm just a sucker for a good love story. <laughs> I wish you could have seen her just one last time. I wish we all could have those last moments back. What would you have done to Ridley? I'd tell him how much his love meant to me. And that I'm, I'm the person that I am because of his strength and humor. <laughs> the teacher I am because of what he taught me. And then I'm gonna be okay. I just wish he could hear all of that. I wish he knew. <laughs> he does. He knows it. I really enjoyed working here this last week, Clara. Wait, are you are you going somewhere? It's Christmas Eve. Everyone should be with someone they love. i 
angels in the room. All the family gathered round. Thank you. Thank you. Time was coming soon. I won't waste any time. So much left to say. I prayed. Lord, I ain't finished. Just give us five more minutes. Come to Christmas Day. Come to Christmas Eve dinner. Come now. We cannot waste any more time. Well, did something happen? Martha came to the house. The Martha? Yes. Okay, come inside. No, no, no. she and Grandpa were supposed to meet. What? Yeah. No, Clara. He was here. He was here with me. And he did what he always did. He led me to the answers without me knowing after I wished <laughs> and said out loud what was in my heart. And he reminded me that every moment matters and that every second is a chance to hold the people that you love close and tell them how you feel and that taking a risk with someone you love is better than risking life without them. So wherever you go, I will go. You're where I belong. Happy you invited Edward. No reason to waste any more time, right? Right. Well, I'm putting together a new resume to send out to schools mm -hmm. around here. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, Logan's gonna be based out of Fort Bragg, and you're a few oh. miles away, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everyone. To Grandpa Jerry. Grandpa, Grandpa Jerry! Jerry. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That you had five. Times infinity. Five more minutes. What have you got? We from the river about 15 minutes ago. Now, what's your name? I don't know. We're still trying to track down your family. You can't keep me here. I have to do this. You with me? I won't leave you until you're where you belong. From executive producer Blake Shelton. There's no reason both of us should be alone on Christmas. Time for them to come home for Christmas. All new next Saturday at 10. Part of Miracles of Christmas. Only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.